Hey, it's Frank here from Frank's DIY and Homeowner Help, and this is what we're going to be doing today. I like watches. I've always liked collecting watches, and um, this one is really significant to me. It's a Canadian Armed Forces Snowbird Commemoration Watch. And uh, as a pilot, um, I used to dream of getting into the Air Force until my uh, I realized my eyesight was pretty terrible. There's no way I was going to get in the Air Force. And uh, it turns out that one of my college roommates ended up getting into the Air Force and becoming a snowbird pilot. Uh, Mike Vandenboss was killed during a snowbird training exercise. And uh, my daughter bought me this watch to commemorate his death and to think about uh, Mike, which I often do. So um, I went and she bought it for me. I was very happy. Went and got it uh, sized. And it was always tight to get on. You see, this is way too tight. I can barely get on. I have to fight to get this watch on. And I should have, uh, I shouldn't have taken it like that. I should have had them add one more link into it. But I didn't. I kind of took it. Um, dude said it would loosen up, which I didn't believe at the time. And I still don't believe. And uh, seeing that I've probably put on a good 15 COVID pounds. There's no way this watch is getting on now. So, uh, so I was going to take it back and get another link put on, but it's 15 bucks. So I thought, um, I'm cheap. Why don't I look into buying a kit to be able to uh, do this on my own? Because I do have quite a few watches and, and I always have to size them. So instead of paying 15 bucks each time, I found that these kits were available on Amazon for like about 15, 17 bucks. And uh, they're, not, they're not overly cheap. So every kit pretty much came in at that level. And it came with the following. So this is a uh, vice style of pin puncher, pin pusher. You've got this thing here to hold your watch band while you're working on it. Kind of a simple device. You've got a fancy carrying pouch, which I will probably use. I'll probably stick it in there. you got your uh, little ball peen hammer. And then you should have some punches. What is this thing? Oh, okay, this is uh, one of the punches, and this is something else. Kind of like a prying tool. This is a punch that you use to push the pins out. So, um, figuring I can't go too wrong, and here's a whole bunch of spare punches. So these punches probably screw into this thing. Yeah, they screw into there. So, um, so anyway, thought I couldn't go wrong buying this for 15 bucks. Worst case scenario, I can't do it myself, but I got the feeling I'm going to be able to do it. So uh, thanks for joining me. Let's get her done with uh, Frank's DIY and homeowner help. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so first thing you need to do is try to look at the watch band and see if there's a spot where you can see arrows on the watch band. Now you see them right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that with this camera. Let's put it like this. See how those arrows are pointing that the pins have to go out in that direction. See that? See those two arrows? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up. We're going to punch one out. I'm going to add just one link. These are the spare links I had from when I got the adjustment done the first time. I'll start by removing one of these links in, these, in the pin in this band and uh, then removing one from here, seeing if I can put it all together and get it to work. Okay, so I've got extra pins in here, which I won't probably need, but let's see if any of these have arrows on them. They do, you see? See the arrows there? So I've got to push that one pin out this way. So I'll set it in here somewhere. Let's 
Let's see what punch will work best for this. So a bunch of different size punches here. You see that? I'm going to grab probably a medium punch. And we'll just see if it sits in there nicely. Yeah, it does. So let's try and push this out and see what happens. Yeah, it worked really nicely. So you see, the actual pin has fallen right out. And it's sitting there. How's that? Could not really be much easier. Okay, so let's try and do the same. I will put these over here in this box so that they don't get lost. And now here the thing is that, you see I've got an equal amount of, of, uh, of belt loops, if you will. I don't know, what do you call these? Um, um, band, band pieces on either side. So I got one, two, three, four, five on this side one two three four five on this side so putting one more on one side is going to make that the that the buckle actually won't completely latch in the middle but uh i'm probably going to be okay with that i will uh i'm going to do this side here because it seems a little shorter i'm going to do this side here remove this pin add the one um clasp there and See how it goes. Okay, let's see what the arrow says here. Okay, yeah, the arrow is pointing this way. Hopefully this will fit in there. It doesn't look like it's wanting to fit. I'll try this way. No, it's not gonna it's not gonna hold in there for me because I'll try this way maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. So same type of thing, we're just going to try and use the same punch on the pin here and push that out. Nice. Really smooth and really easy. Didn't take much force at all. And it came out perfectly. See that? So now all I'm going to do is grab the pin. basically do the reverse. Now I'm going to put the pin in from this from the other side. So putting the pin in, I guess you want to go against the arrow. Let's see how that works. Now the one thing you want to make note of here, I'm going to see if I can get this on camera. The pin kind of has a head or it has a uh, a thick side. And okay, you see the pin there? Hopefully that's focused for you. See how the pin has kind of a head end over here on the right there's a bit of a head and on the left there isn't. So naturally you want to put the, the non-head side in first. Maybe I can zoom in with this camera and it'll work. Can't really tell until after the filming is done what has worked and what hasn't. See how the right side of that pin has a little bit of a head sticking out, just like if it were a nail? Well, that's the side that goes in last, right? Okay, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, so we're going in the opposite direction of the arrows now. I'm just going to set this on top and try to start it with my finger. More or less just doing it by feel. Oops. There it goes. So you get it to the end where you just have the the pin left, or the head of that pin left. Now I'm going to try and hold this. And 
you just finish it off with a couple of taps with this thing. So that is nice and flush, and it's in. So now let's try and bring this around. Bring it down to the last one and do the exact same thing. Thing you just lower it right to the point that the head is about to touch. That's got it. All right. So let's see if that one is enough. much better fit. There, that's close enough to be in, in the middle of my wrist for me. Watch is good, not too tight, not too loose, and I'm sure Mike Vandenboss would be proud. So that's it. You know, 15 bucks, buy your own kit, figure out how to do it, and if, if you really wanted to, I wasn't that worried about getting doing this or doing this right but if maybe you you know you lack a bit of mechanical skill or you haven't done it before you might just want to practice on a crappy watch that you don't care about you notice that i didn't bring the steel end of the hammer close to the watch i did use the the plastic end of it or the teflon end of it for that first one just to finish it off but um yeah you don't want to be hammering directly against the watch or damaging it so maybe you can practice on a bad watch and Save yourself a bit of money, learn how to do it, give yourself your own tools. So that's it. That's how to fix your watch, and thanks for joining me. Frank's DIY and Homeowner Help.